How you doing, my friends? Joe Vinshire here. Thank you so much for tuning in. It, just in case if you don't know who I am or what we do here on this channel, we cover all things superheroes, video games, nerdy news, all in one place. You know, when I'm around to make videos. Here's the obligatory, I'm sorry I haven't been around. You got one video earlier this week. Today is a big news video. And I'm just gonna give you guys a heads up right now. This might be the last video for a little bit of time. I'm going on a honeymoon. I got married last year. I've been super busy this last year. So I'm gonna be taking a small little break, just like two weeks, and then I got New York Comic Con in the beginning of October. So after that, I'm gonna be hitting videos a lot harder here on this channel. So if you haven't subscribed, you've been like, where's Joe from Shire? I don't, I don't know why you sound like a, an old gold miner. It, anyways, so before we jump into the big news of the day, I did want to mention that and, and just let you know that there will be a lot more content on this channel. I'm actually working on pitching a bunch of different actual shows that might live here on the channel. They might live on other places. So I've been very busy doing other things, obviously Smosh Games as well. But I wanted to give you guys a quick little update that I will be putting up more videos here just after my honeymoon. I wanted to make sure I got one more video in this week and luckily we were graced with big news from the DC universe. Luckily, do I want to use the word luckily? Because it's not good news if you're a DC fan. Definitely not good news if you like Henry Cavill as Superman. So it looks like it's being reported that Henry Cavill is hanging up the cape and is no longer going to be playing Superman in any future DC movies. Now this comes kind of as a shock and surprise because when you look at someone like Ben Affleck, who there's been like a hundred different articles saying Ben Affleck doesn't want to be Batman. Ben Affleck says he can't wait to play Batman again. Warner Brothers says we're doing a different Batman movie. Like there's just headline after headline after headline and after contradicting news. And this one we're just like, oh hey, uh, Henry Cavill, yeah, he's done. He doesn't want to do it anymore. So what does this mean for the DC universe? Is it going to just crumble and fall? Is it going to be a hard reboot? Are they going to be concentrated on other stuff? Well, we're going to talk about that right now. So the big reason Henry Cavill didn't want to do this anymore that they said it's just because that's a character that DC is not going to be focusing on in the near future. We aren't getting any more solo Superman movies. No one really knows what's happening with the Justice League 2. I, I can kind of tell you that it's probably not going to happen now. And Warner Brothers has a different priority when it comes to a Kryptonian that they want to make a movie about. And I'm talking about Supergirl. That's right. They're actually focusing all their attention on putting together and making a Supergirl-led movie. I'm going to say this. This is... I think that this is very reactionary news. I think that Supergirl is a great character. I think that the TV show is doing well enough for them. But I think this is a reactionary decision that, that people want to see female-led superhero movies. And now DC's like, oh, we can do that. We have one of those. Let's dump everything else we're doing right now and now just focus on Supergirl. And, of course, they have Wonder Woman 84. Now, the first Wonder Woman started this, which was such a great movie. And then Marvel's like, hey, we're, we're, we're doing that too. We've got Captain Marvel, and one day we might have a Black Widow movie. And then DC's like, oh, yeah, we, we, got, more, we, got, we got more women. We, look at us. We got Supergirl now. And if that means we're not going to focus on the storylines we're doing now, then so be it. I think this is just another example of... of them just being all over the place with their decisions. They don't have like strong leadership with with when it comes to like having a plan. When Kevin Feige was with Marvel when he first started with these movies, he's like, hey, here's the 10-year plan. Then Disney bought out and it's like, hey, keep doing what you're doing. There was a plan and there was someone there to kind of bring things back to the plan. I warned brothers they don't have that. They're like, ooh, let's do this. Ooh, let's do this. Ooh, let's do this. So yes, I'm interested in looking forward to a Supergirl movie. I don't think it should have like broken down and destroyed everything that had already been put in place just to make this movie. Which when you take your main character out of, of uh, as Superman out of like this DC world, is there any reason to keep it how it is now? Or do you just need to do a hard reboot? Now WB said something that I definitely, definitely, definitely don't agree with. They were talking about how they consider Superman to be more of like a James Bond character. Now, not just in the sense that he's like cool character taking martinis, shaking not stirred, but I'm talking about the fact that He's like, after a few runs, you just switch it up with someone else. That's not the same thing, people. That is not the same thing. You can't compare Superman in the, in the DC Universe timeline with James Bond. Now, I'm not a big James Bond fan, but each episode, each movie, is kind of like its standalone thing. There might be a timeline involved, but at the same time, like it, it, when we see someone else take the place of the main character of the leader of the Justice League, fans are going to be like, 
I don't know if this makes sense anymore. Because it doesn't. It, it's just, it's not the same thing and you can't treat the two as the same thing. Another part of this, which is really unfortunate, is I was super excited for the Flash solo movie when it was going to be a Flashpoint movie. Movie's not lo no longer going to be Flashpoint anymore. I don't even know if the movie is actually going to be put into production anymore. I think that and... Um, uh, Cyborg were both put on hold. Now we needed that Flash movie because that Flash movie could have solved so many problems. All you have to do is have Barry Allen go back in time, do Flashpoint, he changes a few things and when he gets back to the present day world, now instead of Superman, there's Supergirl. Now instead of Ben Affleck as Batman, there's another guy. Now instead of Henry Cavill as Superman, it's a different actor. Like that would have been able to fix and retcon everything and be able to move forward in whatever story that they want to tell. But it just seems like with a uh, with a random Joker movie going out that that won't tie into anything. You have the Matt Reeves movie, uh, The Batman, which which takes place earlier and it's going to have again a different actor that's not Ben Affleck as Batman. Literally everything in the DC universe right now is a mess. I, and I and I say this as a big Warner Brothers fan, and I say this as a huge DC fan, it's just like, there's no continuity within any of it. The reason that Marvel did so great is because for 10 years they built up these big storylines with these characters that we knew and loved. Yes, there were a few characters that changed char uh, actors, but those were also, you know, side characters. It was okay. It's all over the place, there's too many one-offs, and now... They just lost their, their their big lead. So I I really don't know what's gonna happen next for the DC movies. Are they gonna do a reboot? Obviously, we, we, we still have some, some movies coming out. We have Matt Reeves, The Batman, which is gonna star someone else. We've got the Joaquin Phoenix Joker movie, which I actually think is gonna be very good. Shazam is gonna happen. Aquaman's out there, but I kind of equate this now to the Marvel X-Men movies that are coming out next year with the new movie in the first class set of movies, which is Dark Phoenix, uh, or just Phoenix, what are they calling it? Anyways, you got that in New Mutants. Fans are kind of like, do we care? Because Disney just bought those franchises, and it's like, well, these are gonna get retconned and turned into something completely different when it gets turned into the, into the Marvel Universe. Same thing with Aquaman and Shazam, like, do we care? It's not really gonna fit into the overarching timeline. It's just gonna be their own little, maybe, trilogies or, or, or one-off movies. So, now I wanna to talk to you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Is this something that you're okay with? Is this something that you want? Do you just want one-off movies where like, oh, I like Aquaman, and oh, okay, I like Wonder Woman 84. They don't connect at all, but that's fine. Or do you want something? Do you want DC to do what Marvel did, where we can just have like this nice, long story where it's like, these are all the characters, this is what we're leading up to, and this is why it's amazing. Let me know in the comments below because I wanna to talk to you about it. We aren't getting a reboot from DC because like, we've got Supergirl, and I don't know. It kind of makes my head hurt, but I want to talk to you guys. And again, thank you so much for tuning in today to watch this video. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button because if you like this video, I know you're gonna like the other videos. And you know what? While you're at it, hit that notification button so that you absolutely know when my videos go up because I know, I know as a fact that they aren't going out to all my subscribers, but hey, that's just the problem with YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. And again, I'm gonna be gone for a little while doing my own stuff with a honeymoon in New York Comic Con. But after that, October, we're hitting things strong. Thank you so much for watching. Till the next time, I'll see you later.